माय मोगाचो योकार सगले आमचे सी सी आर टी व्ही पोलिणारांक आनीक एक एपिसोड तुमचे मुखार आम्ही आज दौरता हूं इज पॉलिटिक्स ए नोबल प्रोफेशन तुमका चड बरी खबर आसतली पॉलिटिशनान हे प्रोफेशन खं पाविला आणि आता महत्वाचे म्हणतात ते वील इट बी ए रिअली नोबल प्रोफेशन एज वॉज कन्सिडर्ड ऑल दीस वायल हे पडवपा न्यू प्लेयर गोयात आयलेले आहा चडशे न्यू प्लेयर आयलेले पडे आहा जे पार्टीज पडे आयलेले आहा त्यो बायल्यो आयलेल्यो आहा दॅट हॅज रिझल्टेड इन द श्रिंकेज ऑफ आवर लोकल ऑर रिजनल पार्टीज पण तरी असताना एक रिजनल पार्टी आणिकू येलेली आहा आणिकू दोन तीन रिजनल पार्टीज येलेली आहा आणि तातुंतले एक म्हणतात तो आमचो न्यू पार्टी जाणे पहिलो जायतो आवाज केलो गोयचो आवाज म्हण आणि आज ताणे न्यू नाव तांका मेवला आणि ते नाव जाऊन आसा गोयचो स्वाभिमान पार्टी गोयचो आवाजाचो फाउंडर आमचे कडे आज आहा ताणे खूप एनवायरमेंटल इश्यूज घेतलेले आहा स्पेशली मॉलेम आग्वादा हिल आणि सी झॅड एम पी तशाच सोशल इश्यूज कोविड तशाच आर टी आय एन वेबसाईट्स ताणे डिझाईन केले आहा आणि चड महत्वाचे म्हणतात ते ओ डी पी इश्यूज रिजनल प्लॅन आणि खूप ताणे सोशल फिल्डांत काम केल्ले आसा आज आमका उमेद भोगता आमचे मोदे हाडपा आणि तुमचे मुखार दौरपा बाब रोशान ल्यूक मॅथायस फ्रॉम कांदोली हु वील बी कॉन्टेस्टिंग ऑन गोयचो स्वाभिमान पार्टी फ्रॉम कालांगूत कॉन्स्टिट्युएन्सी वेलकम रोशन थँक्यू सो मच सर थँक्यू थँक्यू फॉर मेकिंग युअर प्रेशियस टाईम अवेलेबल टू आज हिअर एट द सी सी आर ए टी व्ही स्टुडिओ कॅन यू शेअर विथ आज वॉट मेड यू एंटर इन टू दिस पॉलिटिक्स येस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थँक यू फॉर हॅविंग मी ऑन दिस सेशन and it's a great pleasure i've been watching your your uh, entire session with all the other um, contestants who are going to be in the field uh, for the uh, race to the 22 elections thank you once again um i find it a li- little difficult when you say why have you entered politics and i try to shy away from that because the actual reason was politics is a responsibility and that's the reason i'm here um in the year 2016 uh, i come from a good spiritual background yeah i believe you are a member of the catholic charismatic renewal yes was <laughs> yeah so now i've got too much social work in hand but yes so i was asked a very particular question as to when will you take care of my people and my land And, and these are the burning issues that is the question that led me into the social issues so i am not here to contest elections or i am not here to run a race or you know to put somebody down and to compete it's not about that i have a responsibility in hand and that responsibility is to take care of god's people and his land but you have had very tough hard times uh, as you have been uh, taking up these issues uh again i disagree because yes it looks tough but if you see the number of successes i have had in the issues i have taken up that itself will speak saying that when you have the almighty with you nothing is tough it may be difficult you may have to take a step extra but he is with us and it is god who is actually making things happen for goa god is interested in the people of goa god is interested in this land and he raises up an army to fight for the people of goa to fight for the land of goa and maybe you are the general of this army i am just an instrument i am just an instrument whether i will get to eat the fruit of the tree that i have planted i am not sure but at least i will have a clean heart and tell god that i did what you sent me to do so you are now at the moment uh, saying and telling us that you are a good soldier definitely definitely i am trying my best to be a good soldier 
Yes. Yeah. And uh, as a soldier, I am little uh, wary of the constituency where you are going to contest. Okay. The political field in Kalangut mm. is supercharged. <laughs> It's an absolute mess and uh, honestly speaking, it hurts my heart, okay? Though uh, people say that we are in a, in a circus or, you know, uh, what I see is the people of Kalangut have already gone through a lot. We have lost our identity there. We have lost a lot of our culture. We have lost a lot of our people also. And when things like this happen, it's like putting salt on your open wounds. And this is why I have put myself as an option there for the people. Because the rest of them just think that it is something fun. It is a pride to be an MLA or, you know, fight somebody else and, you know, try to gain some, some name in the society. It's not about that. Our people are dying day by day. When I say dying, yes, physically also dying. And our entire identity, our culture is gone. I, I know several families from Kalangut who even said it's not worth uh, staying in this place anymore. Yes, yes. And I've been fighting with that. And I have given myself as an option to such people. That's one of the reasons that I'm here contesting this election is because if you see my team, they are the ones who have said this time we are not going to vote nor are we going to vote ever again in our lives. We are done with it. But if you are going to come out, Roshan, we are going to be physically present with you. And these are people who are strongholds of other parties. They have left them and they are today with me. Not because I told them to come, but it is they have seen that hope, that ray of light for Kalangut. So I think you are very, very positive and your positive, positivity has to reach the others also. Definitely, sir. Definitely. And I'd like to also add... I was the one who had announced my candidature in Kalangut first. Yes. yes. Right way, uh, you know, in August 14th it was. Yeah, much before even Captain Viryato did no, it. No, Captain announced first. Okay. I was the second, uh, second announcement was Swapnesh and myself on 14th August. From 14th August, we are going to reach 14th February now. Okay. It's been a long time. It's been a political tour for many. But I have remained where I had started. And uh, uh, if I have uh, no doubts, you will remain in the same uh, vein? Uh, yes, I mean, I will remain with the same fervor, with the same conviction, with that same love for Kalangut. I will not move. Because what we have seen in Kalangut now, uh, <clears throat> we have three people who said we are all one. You give to one and we are also there with them. Earlier we have seen somebody, a big uh, figure, with the ex party and all of a sudden uh, he leaves that party and joins a new party yes. and that uh, had uh, it almost came like an earthquake and then what we are now seeing is a volcano absolutely and in all this i'm still standing strong i say volcano also because you had uh, that uh, big restaurant on the beach in kalangu the soza lobos yes, yes. Uh, you you know <laughs> what yes. has happened yes. there yes. and the repetition of that, yes, you yes. know, and the police not acting, right? Uh, you know, people were wondering what is happening to Goa. Yes, in fact, uh, I had highlighted this about a month back when the issue happened, and uh, even before the issue happened, we have been voicing this right from 2017, and this started through the PDA movement. When we saw the PDA movement coming into Kalangut, the way it was planned. The amount of buildings that were coming, the amount of uh, investors that were coming, we saw that everything is going to deteriorate. And the worst thing that would have gone out of hand is the law situation. And that's exactly what we are eating the fruit of that. Now, the interesting thing is, you just mentioned that there were three fellows who, you know, were trying to make things happen. But let me remind you and let me remind the people of Kalangut and Goa that it is these same people who are actually team members of the MLA who has joined Congress recently and bringing in the PDA into Kalangut. In fact, these are the people who have planted the plant of destruction in Kalangut and today have come out and saying, don't eat of that, I will save you. 
this is the mockery situation that is there in Kalangut. And but people are people realizing that because today I see some of them says no, uh, he has done wonderful job, he has done this, he has done that. See, people have realized, and what has happened is through the ODP issue. You know, uh, we Goans have been tortured uh, on social issues like, you know, no electricity, no water. Those are common social issues which people get hurt about. But the PDA issue, the ODP issue touched people's personal nerves. And why I am saying this is, roads were shown through people's properties. Houses were going to get demolished. Compound walls were broken. And those people were left to fend for themselves where they had to put in their hard-earned money to build their own walls back. They had to go to courts to try and save their properties which is of their hard-earned money. So it has touched them on the personal level. And they have seen the mockery in all these guys who are now trying to jump from seat to seat. Okay? And what they have done now is by jumping from seat to seat, they have in fact strengthened the faith of the people that yes, these are jokers and not interested in us. In a way, what has happened uh, has shown them they are true yes, colors. Yes, it has proved to the society who these guys are. I doing. hope uh, the people and Goans, I don't know, they say Goans are Susagat. Yeah. I hope uh, this is uh, the right call at the right time. Definitely it is. But you all will have to play a very big role. Uh, we have been playing and we will continue to play a big role in Kalangut. Um, as I said, people have realized they are being today driven out from their own properties. The ex-MLA, current MLA, all these guys who are there are literally holding them by their necks and pulling them out. They are supporting all the outsiders over here. And our people are today being threatened with guns, with uh, talwars. You've seen Soza Lobo is just one of them. Soza Lobo is only one of them. There are many more which happened. You may remember the Nike case that happened in Kandali. The ladies were beaten up. All these things are happening in our area. And at that time, with the help of the MLA, uh, these were all put under the carpet. Yes, definitely. And still continue to be. Is it? it? Still continues to be. And the worst was the police uh, uh, asking the government to give the permission for this dance, dance bars. bars. Now see what happens in Kalangut also and, and very much um, what happened was finally the, the PI got suspended. Okay. These things come as recommendations from the, uh, the so-called uh, powerful leaders, okay? Because they have got stakes in all these things. All businesses that are running illegal is where this particular person is involved in all these things. He brings solutions for them rather than bringing solutions for the suffering local. Today, uh, uh, people of Kalangut uh, don't believe that there is a good solution. They feel they have to give in into these things and that's what I'm breaking. Yeah, but then uh, there is only one uh, person called uh, Roshan. No. Are there second, no. third or fourth? No, you must come, you must attend our Gram Sabhas. Today, door to door, I don't even have to introduce myself. So, that uh, we need more Roshans. Definitely, yeah. and there, there will are, be. There will be. There will be. That's a good sign then. Definitely, and you see our team. We are one powerful team in Kalangut. We can make that happen. We have done things before and we will continue to do so, as I said. You have been very strong on in, oh, your activism, especially on environmental issues yes. of Goa. Yes. Will you continue to? Sir, I just mentioned to you that I have a responsibility. Till my dying breath, I have that responsibility. You will never give up? Never. Come what may? Never. What makes you so bold? Uh, I, I told you, see, my, my life depends on, on, on God. Uh, he will not leave me till the end and nor will I leave him. This is our, uh, our contract, I would say. Okay, so, so we are true to each other. And in this trueness, you can be true to people around you. You can be true to your work. It is just this bond that I have with God that, that keeps me true to others. Because if I cheat you, I have to answer him. And he doesn't like it. I don't like him to feel sad. Okay, I don't like to hurt him. So I do my best not to hurt others. I will in fact gain confidence. Now even as we are talking about the others who have jumped, don't think that I have not approached them. On 14th, I announced my candidature, August 14th. On 15th, I was sitting with the ZP candidate of Congress. I invited him to be part of us. I never threw him out at the side. I had two meetings with uh, Mr. Joseph Sequera. After that, he is ignoring my calls. <clears throat> Why I am doing this? I have had meetings with Agnello Fernandez. 
I have had meetings with the RG team, I have had meetings with the Aam Admi Party of Kalangut. But nobody is taking this thing seriously, it is just about contesting, it is about winning and trying to create some um, uh, something that you know I won. But even the people of Kalangut have realized today and when I go to their door, they say, Poi, ami last time teka jiko nalde, amka kide zale poi. And that is the answer. You may be looking at a winnable, so called winnable candidate, but has your family won in those five years? Is your family going to win or is your family going to continue to lose is the question now. You mentioned the uh, actors uh, very nicely <laughs> and uh, it's time what people feel, it's time to have new actors. Definitely. Uh, don't bring in actors, get somebody serious. Acting is not meant for the MLA post. You want to do acting, there are a lot of other posts but not the MLA's post. now. Here also we need to realize an MLA is not only subject to Kalangut or the constituency. Issues have to be taken at state level because this MLA will be sitting with 39 other MLAs. Okay, they need to legislate. Yes. Uh, and, and you know that how… Is, that is what they have not done. Exactly. And you know how big that job is. Today if you see the report cards of some of the contestants including in my own, in my own constituency, they are talking about f uh, putting fog for mosquitoes. They are talking about doing some uh, walk that they had for coal issue. When are you going to go into the coal berth and stop the, the coal there? When are you going to write to the government? When are you going to write to the court that you are having a problem with your health that people are dying? Walking from here to there is not going to help. Putting fog for mosquitoes is not going to help. That you can do at the panchayat level. But an MLA's post needs to do a lot more. And that's exactly, you will find MLA putting a street light, come on. This is not what the post is about. You are making a mockery of the post, you are making a mockery of the authority given to you. And at the end, a mockery of the people that, that have put faith in you. So this is the level I am going to increase for Kalangud. And that's why you will find there is nobody ready to debate with me. There is nobody ready to even, uh, even members of the, uh, the other candidates. They have asked me, stop sending your stuff because they can't take it. They can't take it. It's too high for them. And this is the change that I want to get back into Kalangut. But uh, what is the reaction of the people on the ground? The people are just waiting for this change. Uh, I lost two months because I was on ventilator in the month of November due to COVID and, and I was very bad. And I lost two months. But in these few days, even though I cannot reach people, they have been calling me, they have been messaging me, Roshan, we understand where you are, we are with you, don't worry. But uh, so, during COVID time, yes. you have rendered superb service. Yes, this was especially during the first wave and the second wave also, both the times we did massive job. Um, in the first wave, we basically played a very big role in bringing the 27,000 seafarers of India back to India. Okay. So, we were instrumental in providing 27,000 names to the Prime Minister's office and he has acknowledged our work, rather the office has acknowledged our work and it was us who had prepared the first SOP for India to get the seafarers in. Okay? So, we had provided 27,000 names which the name of the ship where they are on, which port they are on, whether they have had COVID, which day of COVID, whether quarantine. This was all the data we gave them and it was easy for them to bring these people back. Uh, besides that, there were a lot of our uh, Goans stranded abroad and there were no flights. And I was lazing between the NRI, uh, the NRI office in Goa and with Delhi, okay, talking to the aviation minister on phone calls and things like that and with some of the uh, coordinators from Dubai, from Kuwait, from Qatar. Okay, and, uh, we helped them to get these Air India flights, uh, get full and you know bring them back. Yeah? So this is the job we played that time. In this COVID uh, second wave, uh, you must have seen people were dying above 70, 73 we had reached, 76 also we have reached. Uh, and that's the time I had filed the petition on COVID, the petition that got the oxygen cylinders back into the GMC. Uh, the, it is that uh, petition that got the ambulance services uh, free of cost. Uh, in those days, doctors were not coming home because of COVID and they were charging 10,000 for a certificate, death certificate.
even, that? even that was brought to the court and everything was sorted out. Besides that, uh, as going to Awaz, we uh, gave about 270 volunteers to almost 8 health centers in Goa who were monitoring 2,700 patients per day, morning, afternoon, night. They did it for one and a half month. And because of that monitoring, people were not getting critical and ending up into GMC. So we've played a major role during the COVID. Yes, Goinsa Awaz was known for having public meetings, but we did not fail to serve the public even in COVID times and in large numbers. Uh, besides that uh, work that you have done uh, very, very well, I, I must say, you are known also for your good work in the field of agriculture and these bonds and uh, farmers. Yes. Um, environment, as I said, is, is very dear to my heart. Um, yes, I have been uh, uh, guided by a lot of stalwarts from Goa and uh, the passion I have seen in them is actually what keeps me uh, moving on. You know, uh, there I have met the other kinds of people who have also said that Goa is finished. But it is these people who say it is not finished. They put that extra effort, they, they go that extra mile to save, to save Goa, to restore back what we've lost. And it is possible. I don't believe that Goa is gone. Goa is very much there till one single Goan is found in Goa, it is enough. But in agriculture, you have done Yes. That. So, in agriculture, we <coughs> have been, uh, especially because it is related to the CRZ, I have given a lot of interest in it, um, especially to do with the khazans, the buns. These are the systems that are unique to Goa. And these are all built by the Portuguese? Um, much before, I would say. E even much before Much that. before that, yes. 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 We had our own indigenous <coughs> people much before the Portuguese who have actually created these systems and their engineering is par excellence, par excellence. And, and do you think that we can restore all these uh, agricultural fields now? 110 percent. <coughs> it can be done. Can be done and has to be done. Because agriculture should be the, uh, the main resource for See, I Goan. wouldn't say resource, it is the life of a, of a human being. Today the agriculture, because <coughs> we are compromising on agriculture, we end up eating food that is not produced here, which is not organic. It is commercially created. And what happens with this food? We eat chemicals. What chemicals does to our body? We deteriorate. And that's why we end up spending money on treatment, on, you know, on medicine, which is not required. So agriculture can reverse your entire, uh, entire life. Do you life. think our boys and girls would want to go back uh, and... Uh, uh, be on the fields. They will, but uh, I, I tell you in this, yes, it is a no and a yes. We will have to enhance the system. We will have to prove to them that it is much more than what they think that uh, can be made there. And and we've started this already in Kalangut. For example, it, you may find it as a shocker, but uh, we had 200 families that grew strawberries this year in, in Kalangut. In Kalangut? Yes. Yes. And, and they were so happy to send us. They took few plants because they were not sure what would happen. Four plants, five plants. But all the plants gave very good strawberries. Now the next one, they are already saying we want 30 plants, 40 plants in their houses. So the strawberries can be grown in this 100%. climate? 100 percent. We've eaten also. Is it? Yes. Send me one next time. Yes, right? sure. You'll <laughs> have to wait for December or Jan next year. <coughs> yes. We will. Yes. But uh, it's a beautiful idea. Yes. It's a beautiful yes. idea. And I think so. our youth uh, will be... Uh, like Definitely, it. all of them. Because see, it's a cycle. Today I tell you the, the senior citizens, okay, they were the ones who earned and sustained themselves. But today the burden is on the youth to bring money into the house. Now when you give them these options where you can eat from your own house, it lessens the burden on the youth to work harder. However much you work harder in society, your salary is not going to increase on today's day. You do the best job, you put in extra hours, you will still be getting that 8,000 minimum, which is not sufficient. But when the same person grows vegetables in the house or grows things in his house, he doesn't need that much money because things are happening. So even youth are interested. It, it reduces their burden as well. Yeah, because today land has become scarce. Yes. And uh, all is being concretized, yes. Uh, yes. I must say. And this, uh, uh, people from Delhi now are uh, dictating terms. And there has not been even half a debate on these conversions in the assembly in the last uh, 10 years. Absolutely. Yes. In fact, they have gone and, and brought in rules that can convert more land. Yes. And, and, this, is and yes. this is horrible. Yes. And this has happened both North Goa as well yes. as uh, yes. South Goa. Yes. And uh, you have key players like them who are today sitting against BJP saying they will save Goa. 
How can? How, how is that possible? People should know this. The man who brought 16B is today aligned with Congress party and they are saying they are going to save Goa. But actu actually, the man who brought the PDA issue and destroyed us is today sitting in the Congress seat and saying we are going to destroy Goa. See, this is the level of mockery of, of politics in Goa. And that's just because they have accepted it as a competition, not a responsibility. Because actually, uh, they say that corruption uh, started during the Congress regime and uh, now it has uh, reached uh, very big, big, big levels. The casinos uh, were started uh, also at that time. Your Mopo airport also was at that time from them. See, corruption started even before Congress. Congress did capitalize. BJP also capitalized. Everybody is looking to capitalize. Now, why are you saying before Congress? Why do I say? Who are the ones who are wanting to merge Goa with Maharashtra? Is that not corruption? Was that not corruption? And the people stood against corruption that time. And today, if we are Goa, it's because those people stood. And that is why I take pride in the party name that we have, Goinsa Swabiman. They saved it. We will save it. Our future generation will save Goa. It's not over. And uh, you had plenty of uh, difficulties to get uh, registered uh, with the election commission. Uh, it was expected. It was part of the plan. But God has been with us right through this entire journey. Um, people told us you will not get registered. People told us you will get the symbol five days before election. And our words to all of them was only, we believe in God. We got the registration in November. We got the symbol one and a half month before election and we are doing absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. You are happy that uh, you are More now... than happy, sir. <laughs> okay. For me, we have already won Goa. It's not about the election. We have won Goa. Today, Goa has a platform that can, uh, can, that can you know, be sure that you have uh, many more years of Goa. This is the platform we have created for Goa. We have it with us today. Uh, along with uh, Sopnesh, uh, you have uh, Maria Christine Varela and you have got Santosh Narayan Bajirao Thari, Thari. Uh, who will be contesting. Yes. Are they also like you? We are all a massive team. I am telling you, Goa can't uh, expect to see the power that is there in this team. It is way beyond expectation of the people. As I said, everyone thought we are going to be failures. Today we are standing the strongest the cleanest, the most honest, the most powerful party that Goa has today. In Kalangut, they made mockery of me. They told me, what you are going to do alone, Roshan? How many team members you got? Join us. I said, no. You need to be in our party as our candidate. I said, no. Till last week, they were saying, you need to quit and come. I said, no. Because none of them are till today People also know they are not sure of these people who are contesting where they are going to be while we are talking. I am the one who is there. Goinso Awas has become today a party. We are still there. Today we have four players who are going to be there and we will always continue to remain for Goa. What is the beauty of this four is that you know that uh, you are one, four together. Whether the wind blows this side or that side, you will not perish. Definitely not. Now, the beauty of four, if you ask me, I would just relate it to even our election symbol. Our election symbol is the football player. Now, football. Today, we have the ISL. Okay? You have good Goan players, but who always invite four or five international players into that thing to strengthen that team. That's the four of us. That's the four of us. We are going to strengthen. We have got a lot of our friends who have also gone to other parties and we willingly accepted that in the larger interest of Goa. We said go. Because we are still small. We don't have the funds to support them. We actually had to take that courage, that step for Goa, the sacrifice for Goa and said go. But make sure you are in the assembly. And that team will be four going to ours, the players, along with the rest of us, we will make Goa happen. You all made a lot of good noise during all your hesitations, let yeah. me tell you. And people will definitely hope that you will make uh, even greater uh, I am telling you, they are actually waiting to go and put that vote on the football player. They are just waiting to see the change. They are waiting to have a life with smiles, with joy. Your final message to the voters. 
my final uh, message to the voters would be please come to vote it's valentine's day it's your day to tell goa how much you love her choose for goa the sons of goa the daughters of goa not those who are coming to kill goa thirdly i would like to caution you be careful because the party that we thought we are going to be against also has accepted defeat and as such has put its own players in other parties be careful when you are voting be wise you are a goan you are smart you are beautiful and uh, together we can do this change let's make it happen thank you thank you uh, roshan wish yes. you all the best and let us hope that uh, things will improve it will definitely let us be more positive definitely uh, of course i can't be as much positive as you are <laughs> uh, 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 because i'm little depressed uh, uh, at looking no. at, at what is uh, yes. happening yes. in the morning you see uh, one color in the uh, afternoon another in the evening another you wake up in the morning <laughs> uh, you lose all the colors wish you all the best thank you very much sir thank you very much thank you mm -hmm.